So on your hands and knees in tabletop, start to hover your right knee above the ground. Start making circles with the knee. So all the movement is happening at the hip. Let the circles get bigger. Keep the pelvis level and the back flat. So we're just focusing the movement in at the hip. And then reverse the circles, starting big this time. And spiraling the circles in. Smaller and smaller. Until you're not moving at all. Now inhale the leg up behind you, reaching the heel away, lifting the leg but keeping the pelvis level. Exhale, draw the thigh into the chest. Inhale up and back. Exhale, drawing the knee in. Inhale, reaching the leg back. Exhale, drawing the knee in. Inhale, reach the leg back and hold it here. Just pulsing the heel up towards the ceiling. Again, just trying to keep the pelvis flat and level. So the movement's just happening at the hip. And then exhale the thigh in towards the chest and hold it here. Pulsing it into the body. And then relax. Draw the knee out to the side, so you're cocking your leg and down. So it's just lifting the knee up and down to the side. Not much movement available here, just focusing in on that hip joint. And then bring the knee down, sit back, shake out the arms, give the wrists a rest, and we'll move to the other side. So hovering the left knee this time, starting to make those small circles, remembering to keep the spine still and the pelvis level. And then we'll grow the circles, getting bigger and bigger, and then reversing the direction. Starting to spiral the circles in again, Get smaller and smaller until you're barely moving. Inhaling the leg up behind you, so straightening the leg, reaching the heel away from you and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw the thigh into the chest. Inhale, up and back. Exhale in. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach the heel back and keep it here. Pulsing the heel up towards the ceiling, keeping the legs straight, pelvis level. And then inhale the thigh in towards the body and pulse it into the chest. Then lowering the knee and drawing it out to the side. Just working with a small amount of movement here. Again, keeping it focused into the hip joint. And then release the knee and sit back on the heels. 